you will marry this particular person and it will work out so well. You will marry this particular person and it will work out so well, perfectly. No two love stories are the same. No two marriage testimonies are the same. They might be similar, but um, each one has their own peculiarities. They all have certain things that are peculiar to them. So there is really no universal um, sign to tell you this person is your kingdom spouse. And if you do not um, have that sign, it means you are in error. It means you are with the wrong person. No, there is really no universal sign like that, you know. To the, the Lord dropped this word in my spirit. I was watching a man of God's testimony today, how he met his wife and God dropped it in my spirit. So I began to ask myself the question, wow, that is quite precise. That's quite specific. I mean, when you listen to his story, you see that it was bound to happen, like they were bound to succeed. Right now they are married, they have four children. I mean, they've been married for like, let's say like 20 years. I mean, it's amazing. But I had another testimony of someone who saw their kingdom partner by revelation. Like they were, like it got revealed to them, like this is your kingdom partner. But eventually it didn't work out. They separated. And because it gets to a point you start asking or you start telling yourself, if God does not tell me or show me in a dream or a vision about my partner, I'm not going to marry them. If God does not tell me with an audible voice, I will not marry them. If God does not show me a sign, I mean, God works differently with each and every one of us. You know, for some reason, these days I've been hearing a lot of marriage testimonies and someone told me the other day, about their marriage testimony, how they met their partner, how they got their confirmation. And they were like, I did not really love him. The person told me, I did not really love my partner. And he, he was nothing like what I wanted, but he loved me so much. He loved me with everything he had. And I, I was at peace. I felt, at, I felt peace with the way he loved me. I did not love him in return, but I felt peace with the way he loved me and i married him just because of that and 13 years down the line they are still together you know and so her own definition of marriage is um you should be able to receive the love of your partner you know you should be able to receive the love of your partner your partner should love you so much and you should be able to receive that love accept it and in turn you're going to love them eventually and I got and I got talking to another person and they said um they loved their partner so much and their partner did not see like they were they were the one for them. But eventually things turned and their partner fell in love with them, they got married. So I so I started asking God, like, okay, what which one? Which one? Because when people advise you on marriage, they advise you based on their perspective, how they encountered their partner, how they got married. And sometimes when your story is not similar to theirs, you're scared. You might be saying, it might not work. My story is not similar. It should be like that. Um, I should see them in a vision or they should love me in X, Y, Z way, you know. And God says, no, everyone has a peculiar and unique story. Every marriage has a peculiar and unique story. You cannot use other people's testimonies to build your marriage. The only thing you should do is that you should be so interwound with God that you can already know his will for you. Your story might be controversial. Your story might not be popular. But that person might just be your kingdom spouse and it's going to work perfectly. Your, your, the way you met your partner might be unconventional. It might, not, it might even be in a way you are not proud of, you know. It might be in a way you're not proud of. It might be something you are not really willing to share because the circumstances were not the best. But if you feel in your spirit that is the will of God for you, it's going to work out and you guys will be so happy. God was telling me, it doesn't, do not look at those factors. Your story might not be the same. Your experience might not be the same. 
But what you should seek in your own way to find out is, is this the will of God for me? It might not be popular. It might not be what everybody's talking about. It might not be something you're proud to share. But it should be the will of God for you. Look at how Ruth got married to Boaz. It was not a very conventional way. As a matter of fact, Ruth threw herself. You know, people say that a, 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 a man should pursue a woman. A man is supposed to make the advances and everything. But in this case, Ruth threw herself on Boaz. She made the advance on Boaz. She was even, I mean, you know, she, she even acted seductively. And Naomi told her, take a bath, spray a perfume, wear this particular dress and position yourself like this. And Boaz will not be able to resist the temptation. Today in our Christian world, if you say you should do that, they will say, no, you're acting cheap and all of that. Listen, God told me, your story might not be popular. It might not be what everybody thinks. But if you feel in your spirit, this is the will of God for me, then go ahead. It is going to work. You will marry that person and it works so well. So I was asking this um, sister of mine, you know, she got married before she encountered God. And I mean, she has a beautiful marriage. I envy their marriage. I, I, I mean, they have a very blissful marriage. Their home is wonderful. But guess what? She encountered this man before they got married. As a matter of fact, they were dating. And while they were dating, she got pregnant. And that is how they got married and everything. But today, in the Christian world, it is wrong to, to get pregnant with someone before you get married. I mean, there are a lot of do's and don'ts, a lot of um, how this should be and how that should be. Of course, there are Christian values that should be upheld in every courtship. There are Christian values that should be upheld. But look out for personal convictions. What has God told you? How do you feel? Do you think this is the will of God for you? Believe me, people might not think it is right. They might not buy your idea. It's just a matter of time. They are going to come around. They will, it might take years. They will come around to know you did the right thing. It was the good decision you made. So you will get married to that person and it will work out perfectly. You would, I mean, you, you will reach, you will get to an old right place. To a, a ripe old age together. I pray for you. May you enjoy marital bliss in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen.